I'm gonna prime my face with Prime Time by Bare Minerals. I'm gonna go in with foundation. I'm using my Sonia Kashuk brush and I'm gonna use NARS Sheer Glow because that is my absolute favorite foundation and this is in Barcelona. I like to focus my foundation just like right on my cheeks. I don't really take it to my forehead and stuff. So for work, I usually um, like go for a pretty natural look just because I don't want to go crazy with like, I don't know, eyelashes and all that stuff. Like that's just too much for work. So I just like to do a pretty natural look, but um, sometimes when I want to you know, make it look a little bit nicer. I go with, um, like, wing liner and stuff. So, today I'm going to probably be doing, like, a winged look. So, that's that. I also waxed my upper lip. And, like, I think it took off a piece of my skin. Honestly, like, I was, like, so upset. Like, I was kind of freaking out, too. Anyway, moving on. So, now I'm going to conceal using my Instant Age Rewind and Neutralizer. And I just pulled the like like cotton or the like bubble part off because I don't like that part um I usually just like to take it with a concealer brush and just like I don't know I feel like I have more control that way on what I'm putting okay now I know that like a ton of people like to brighten up their nose and stuff but I've got blackheads and I don't like putting concealer or highlight on my nose because it just goes into my pores on my nose. I don't know if like anyone else has that as well, but yeah, I don't know. I just don't like to do that. So comment down below and tell me if you guys do that too. So yeah, after I do that, I usually just take my foundation brush again and I like to tap because it just blends it in really seamlessly. I know a lot of people like to highlight and stuff after eyeshadow, um, but in order for me to get a seamless look, I have to blend it like this, like I have to put it on top of my eye and then do that. And so if I have eyeshadow on, obviously I can't do that. Oh my gosh, like look how much more awake and like, I look so much better now. Now I'm going to go into eyeshadow and um, I'm going to set my foundation and everything a little later. Um, so for my transition shade, I'm going to go in with a nudes palette. I'm just gonna use that color right there yeah I'm gonna go with that taupe color um, just to deepen out my crease because I haven't been getting very much sleep lately um, because I have post concussion syndrome because I was doing a handstand on the bathroom door and the bathroom door decided to open so my legs fell and then I hit my head on the bathroom floor which was not very fun, but I have post-concussion syndrome. Basically what that means is like my circadian rhythms are off, so I get really tired throughout the day, and then right when I'm about to sleep, I don't get tired at all. Um, I get headaches, and um, there's also nausea and vomiting and stuff. I haven't thrown up yet, but um, yeah, so it's just been really tough. Um, so I've gotten like no sleep. I want to go in with my Naked 2 palette. I haven't used this one in a long time. I'm going to go in with Half, ba Half Baked. You probably all know what that color is. It's such a beautiful gold color. Okay, so I'm just going to take it on my eyelid. Okay, and then I like to just take a little tiny bit and put it in my inner corner. Okay, next I'm going to go take the other end of my um, naked brush. I'm going to go into, let's go into that color right there, that dark shimmery brown. I'm just going to dab a little bit and then line my waterline with that. Or not my waterline, my lash line. And it just gives me like the slightest bit of definition. So I really, really like doing that. Because I don't really like to wear eyeliner on my bottom lashes because it tends to like move around and like I don't know it just doesn't look very cute on me I'm gonna take soft and gentle take my highlighter brush for my eyebrows just put that on there um 
and then I'm just gonna go into like that last kind of matte color, taupe color in the nudes palette. I love this color for my eyebrows. It's just like perfect. It's the perfect like shade. I feel like my voice is so croaky because it's like the morning. Oh my gosh, some guy just like, you know those wave boards? Like the ones where you have to like wiggle your entire body to like ride it. I used to have one, but some guy is like riding that outside. It's so funny. All right, so that's eyebrows complete. Most days I don't really fill in my eyebrows, but for work, I like to fill in my eyebrows. For bronzer or contouring or whatever you want to call it, I'm going to be using NARS Laguna. Uh, I'm going to pinch it and put it right in that line. I love doing this. Um, okay. So you see how much like definition there is? Love that. And then just blend it in. I tend to blend upward. I never really blend downward because I feel like that defeats the purpose of contouring. Um, that's like what I do on my face. Um, if I want to highlight my face, I'll usually just go in with like a big fluffy brush. Um, and then I'm going to go into soft and gentle. This is the only highlight, highlight I ever use because, I don't know, it just complements my skin tone. And I have a ton of it. I've actually had this stuff for a really long time. Okay, so when I do gel, my gel liner is like really dried out. So I just like to line and then I like to go over with liquid because thing about liquid is like when you make a mistake you can't go back so then I like to take some liquid eyeliner and then I just like to go in and fill in the gel it gives me it gives me like an outline to fill in so I like that. Do you guys like that? I like that. Okay. So yeah, that's what the eyeliner looks like. I'm gonna do the other eye and then I will see you in a little bit. Eyeliner done. Um, let's go and curl the eyelashes. Sometimes I have to let the, um, I have to let the eyeliner set but I don't got time for that okay now I'm gonna use um voluminous false fibers lashes in waterproof I think this is by L'Oreal I think it's L'Oreal yeah I think it's L'Oreal okay now I'm just gonna do the mascara portion I did a pretty like full face makeup look now I don't like do this every single day I go to work but I just want to show you like the days that I do like do a lot let's go on the lips We're almost done it's like the home stretch let's use Milani lip liner color statement lip liner in all natural so I'm just gonna line I think lining your lips is actually really important. Isn't that pretty? I love that color. Mm. I'm gonna go over it with my Tarte Exposed Lip Surgeons Matte Lip Tint. Um, I'm just gonna dab. If you didn't notice already, I really like just pretty mauve nude toned lips and I want to show you guys how pouty it makes my lips look like I don't know I feel like it makes my lips look so much more pouty and bigger without making it look super big so okay I'm gonna I'm done with my makeup I'm going to go to outfit and then I'll show you guys what I wear to work okay so my outfit is all black and I'm just wearing like this like 
big coat thing and then um it's just like you know like this gold zipped um long sleeve shirt and then just a pair of like shiny leggings and my nike kaishis for work i have to wear all black and stuff and um i really like the way that the kaishis make kind of like casualize my outfit i don't know if that's a word i usually take my coat off during work but it's pretty cold where i work so i always have like a tank top or long sleeve on under and i do but you can't even tell yeah once again thank you for watching this video i hope you guys liked my get ready with me for work um if you guys have ha if you guys have any requests or suggestions comments anything leave them down below i'll make sure to respond to you guys so i will talk to you guys in my next video bye guys